Before the summer, we attempted to plant our vines on the, the plot on the Grenasse appellation, a bit further south from uh, the chateau. Um, but the soil was so hard because it had never been farmed that we didn't manage with uh, our small rotavator as uh, we wanted to. And so we decided to have a big digger to come and decompact the, the ground. Uh, so we chose a digger because the rather than a plow, because a digger keeps the um, the layer of the soil, which means it doesn't bury the topsoil. It keeps the the fertility of the of the soil. All the digger work and planting took place before the summer, but we didn't have a chance to show it to you before now. It was really windy when we were working up there, so the sound isn't always very good. So please turn the subtitles on if you can't hear us. The soil is incredibly good on this part of the plot, uh, but he's uh, starting to hit a rock. So um, it's getting a lot harder here. And I told him not to insist too much uh, on that bit, but uh, instead to do a bit more surface. So he's trying to bury the, the bigger rocks and uh, move some good soil on top of them so that we have more uh, surface to plant. He's an extremely skilled driver. I wish I could drive like that. All the land is uh, nice and plowed, uh, so it, sh it should be really soft. And today I have a lot of help to help me plant. So this is for good the right day. Yeah, let's do. Uh, let's start from the other end. We'll do uh, and we'll do four lines, um, by, uh, two meters. Uh, yeah, yeah. 10 meters. No, the next one will go 2 meters from here. So, we'll oh. okay, 10. 10 mark. Uh, yeah, Yeah? Yeah. Oh, 
Maximum we can uh, we can do. Cool. The, um, but it means the it means the plants will have to be uh, quite closer uh, to each other. Cool. So, um, so much. Phylloxera, which is a mite that was imported uh, from the United States in the late 19th century, that killed the whole vineyard in uh, in Europe and uh, elsewhere in the world, actually. And the cure for that mite, the, it's a mite that uh, lives in the soil and attacks the roots. So there was, uh, at the time, it was a real uh, panic because all the vineyards were dying. And the cure uh, for it was uh, actually found at the university where I studied in Montpellier. Um, and the, the solution is to graft the, the European vines on American vine rootstocks. Um, so for this, uh, there are a big, there's a big range of uh, different rootstocks that have been used that are uh, more or less uh, tolerant to different uh, soil alkalinities, uh, uh, various uh, things, and that produce more or less uh, vigor for the, um, the, the graft. So on this plot, I'm trying two different rootstocks, uh, which are uh, the Couder uh, 3309 and the SO4, which uh, for producing concentrate uh, wines but it can struggle a little a little bit when it's too dry and uh, when the um, it, it really won't produce much when the, there's not enough water whereas the SO4 is more vigorous and uh, will produce more uh, but uh, as a counterpart the, the grapes won't have as much sugar so we in this trial we are uh, planting we are allowed to plant four uh, lines at the moment and we are going to plant the last line as so4 because it's uh, the soil on the slope um, when the digger was around there it struggled a lot more because there was a big lump of rock so for that uh, that one i'd like a more vigorous root stock and all of the Graftlings are uh, Sira, which is the only um, written grape for Cornell's appellation. This is 
de start typique vignoble sauf comment tu dis ici that's much easier to plan than the other day <laughs> You're back feeling it as well then. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm doing two jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you know what? You, yeah, I yeah, yeah, no, it's just the, If you want, yeah, you how, just how stick them in the hole yeah. and I'll back yeah, fill. Oh, yeah. back. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Just, yeah, just whack them down. So just uh, here. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, you're, uh, if you can uh, spread the roots a bit, basically, the, yeah, you uh, you just uh, make sure the, the roots are a bit. Uh, Bit, lay, lay a bit mm -hmm. uh, like this, so they have more uh, surface contact with okay. the soil. Okay. Yeah. Mark, how high should I take the soil up? Yeah, that's <coughs> the other question. But, uh, you, no, not too. Uh, not too mm, much, no. Yeah, yeah, like this. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Cool. All right. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's uh, yeah every seventy five. So you.
Good job, guys. Thanks a lot. Will you come back in four years' time to taste? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Good. Vineyard update. We are in uh, late August and so far we've had uh, quite a good amount of rain which has been watering the, the vines regularly but for the last uh, couple of weeks we started to have a bit more drought and uh, for the last couple of days we had actually quite hot temperatures. Uh, at the moment, it's about 35 degrees centigrade, which is about uh, 95 uh, Fahrenheit, probably, something like that. Uh, so it's getting hot, but um, the vines are still doing okay, and actually I'm quite surprised uh, by how well they are doing. Um, and also there is still a little bit of moisture in the, in the ground, which is really good because it means uh, it will encourage them to, to grow deeper roots and they'll be eventually be more resilient to drought. Um, so we originally came here to give them a little drink of water, but the, the spring is uh, very low and actually there's only uh, just a bit of mud uh, where I would normally fill the watering can, so I'm not able to water, but the, they are doing quite well, so uh, we'll say uh, we don't need it. Uh, if it uh, remains consistently very hot, I'll just take a trailer with the, um, with the little cistern on it and give them a drink next week. The only annoying thing is that we still have a little bit of deer damage. It's not too, too bad. Uh, but uh, for instance, this one has been munched a little bit, so it has a couple of leaves missing. But overall, there's enough greenery uh, that they don't need to, to eat too much of the vines. Here's Bambi. <laughs> oh dear. Bambi left his footsteps and run the vines. Thank you.